Bulge it. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> so we're doing this thing. This is a special. Here. This is a special edition of the Ty. Come on y'all. in here, young fella. <laughs> this is the Ty. Hey, you know we always taking it outside. Hey, hey Tio. This what's my man's name? Hunter. 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 It's my man Hunter. Listen, we're here in the Galleria and we're getting ready to do this podcast and do what we do. And then, uh, we're going to see the Book of Clarence now. Y'all done heard some things about it, but we gonna tell y'all what y'all need to know after we watch this today. Have you seen the movie yet? I have not watched this. Okay. 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 Oh, hey, pay attention. We're getting back to you in just a few minutes. And we come back looking like, <laughs> y'all know why. You know what that means. <laughs> All right, people. Here we are at the end of Woo! the plans. I gotta come on. tell you. Come on. We're going to wait till we sit down in the studio and give you all what we think about this. I might, you, you, you can give them a premium if you want. I, I can't. I you know what? Well, all I got to say is is I'm glad that we came out. Oh, yeah. But the movie. Most. Mm. And the movie what? Okay. Stay tuned. We, we, we got to talk, y'all. Yeah. This, this is going to be very interesting because eh, it can be very harmless. <laughs> <laughs> it can be very harmless. It can be like, oh, it's a beautiful thing. But is that good enough? Mm, mm, Whoa. Yo, people, you know yeah. what we always say? Mm. We got work to do, y'all. Mm. Told you. Mm. Told you. our identity as a black church. Suicide to them is an actual out. Told ya. Well, all right, all, all right, right. Hey, all up? right. It's us again. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Mm-hmm. It's been a while, y'all. Welcome mm-hmm. to the TY, the Welcome. famed TVM podcast. Told you. <laughs> you know what? It, it, we're, we're here, and, and this is a big day. You know, this is like pre Super Bowl Sunday. We gonna date this one. This okay. Is, okay. okay. This yeah. Day before yeah. the Super Bowl. Super Bowl and y'all have a, y'all have a dog in that fight. No, no dog in the fight. No, neither do I. I could care less about football. I have to. I shouldn't even say this. I don't. You know, y'all forgive me. I know I'm, you ain't I'm got no bets on this. I'm, I'm a commander. Okay, I was gonna oh, say. I thought you was gonna say. I gotta wait. No, it's been a minute for y'all you. Y'all pray for me. Y'all, y'all pray oh, for me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the commanders. We next year, y'all. Next, <laughs> year, next, next year, y'all. We've been saying this. 30 years now. Yeah, no stars allowed. Boo, his, his, his. I am there for Usher and Usher only. That's oh, what I care Lord. about. Oh, Lord. You oh, talking no. about in the church, Usher? Or, yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay, 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 okay. It's a football game at an Usher concert. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> at an yep. Usher concert, a football game broke yeah, out, yep. you know. Yeah. But, you know, praise God, though. And this this is a super Sunday. I mean, this is a super Saturday for us because, right, yes. you know, this is a special TY podcast. Mm-hmm. We're doing this one because there's some, there's some stuff going on right now and we told y'all before that the whole purpose of this podcast is if the world's talking about it we're going to talk about the it. church yes. needs to talk right. about it and we want to keep it real relevant and raw mm-hmm. and we want to make it relatable to what's going on so right now there's something going on around in the in in it's the movie discussion. world mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In, in the discussion world before we jump into this let's introduce ourselves to so, sort of folks at home, at home will know who we there are there you go absolutely Hello, y'all. I'm that one dude, <laughs> Roy Noel, First Day Amy Church. Just happy to be here. And, you know, I want to thank y'all for actually paying attention to us, taking that time out to actually listen Absolutely. to us. Absolutely. Praise God. Praise mm-hmm. God. Praise God. I'm Brother Stacy Holmes, uh, Rochester, New York. Love this church. Love this uh, 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 this this church family here at First Day and Me Church of Manassas with the venerable pastor. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Reverend Dr. Like Tori words. V. Go on. Where did I get that from? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, just excited to be here. Uh, I'm a, um, Alana Gibbs. Sorry. Um, excited to be here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, just, you know, I love movies. I love writing. I love creating. So I'm really looking forward to this talk about this movie we're getting ready to get into. And yeah. All right. And I'm Phyllis Lennis, uh, itinerant elder in the AME Church, uh, writer, mother, New Orleans Saints fan, uh, cook, she had to get that uh, in there. gumbo you know, extraordinaire, she uh, she uh, bragging about whatever she <laughs> all the things, all the things. Just happy. Uh, I'm, I'm a movie buff as well, so I'm excited about the discussion we're going to have. Yeah. And what is that discussion, sir? Hey, we talking about the book of Clarence. Oh, my yep, goodness. Yep. You know what, y'all? I know y'all have heard about it. And, mm-hmm. you know, some people call it blasphemy. I remember when I first saw the oh, first wow. trailer at a movie theater, you know, and the trailer came out and it was like. What do you think? What is this? Mm-hmm. Is this a comedy? Is this a faith movie? What is this? And you know what? We went and saw the movie last night. Roy and I checked it out. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I came out in the movie saying, what is this? this? No changing response. But yeah, but, 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 I, I did the same thing. I saw it in a trailer in the movie theater and I saw it and I said, is this a spoof? Is this supposed to be comedy? Like, I don't I don't want to see something that makes fun of that era, of that time frame. Um, so I think a lot of people may, may have had some preconceived notions about it. Yeah. yeah. I had not seen the trailer, but I did watch, read a, you know, I guess the synopsis of it. And I didn't know quite what it meant by what it was talking about. It probably wasn't the best description of the, of, of the uh, movie, but what I read from it was just, you know, something pretty general. I was like, okay. I mean, it's got Lakeith Stanfield, so I'm already here for that. Yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. So I took a chance and said, I'm going to go see it because I love his acting. I think he's really talented, so that's why I chose to go see it. And, and you know, and, and that's exactly why we're doing this this TY podcast because mm-hmm. this is so crucial because it is one of those things where it's a simple thing. It's a movie. It's mm-hmm. entertainment. It's Hollywood. It's, 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 we see it every day. Good or bad, we got to remember, all movies, all forms of art is impactful. And so, mm-hmm. and, 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 and like uh, you, uh, Lana, I, I didn't see a trailer either. And I think that even adds another layer to the perspective because I had no nothing preconceived mm-hmm. when I went in there right. last night. I had no idea. I didn't know the actors. I didn't know anything about it. So literally yeah. I walked in blind. Yeah. And boy. And there was some conversations, so I, I think prior to because of the trailers. And so I think there are a lot of think pieces already out on social media calling mm-hmm. it what, you yes. know, blasphemous mm-hmm. or, or antichrist. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. almost extremes to where you almost felt like, is this something I should even put my eyes on? Should I even entertain it and allow it into um, mm-hmm. my eye gate or my system? So mm-hmm. um, I think that was some pushback people felt as well, especially in the Christian community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why I think this is so important because mm-hmm. that, that is the truth. And, and I did listen to uh, uh, one review of the movie and the gentleman who reviewed it, I respect his, his different commentaries on different things that have to do with Christian. But he said straight up front, I haven't seen the movie. I have not seen the movie, and I'm, so I'm not going to pretend that I did. Mm-hmm. He said, but what I'm going on is, one, is the interviews I've seen with the director and with the people that have made the movie and some of the content that I know that they've discussed is a part of it. And so I think that's why this discussion is so important because, and that's why we went to the theater yes. last night, spent spend $45 for two oh, chicken oh. tenders, which is like, oh, my Lord. We, we, but anyway. Well, when was the last that, time y'all went to the movie? No, this because is that's this pretty is crazy. standard. This is good. Well, no, yeah. nah, not for no. Well, anyways, <laughs> but, yeah, that's, but, that's, but 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 the doing. bottom line is, we went to the theater, and you guys have already seen the movie, mm-hmm. and so we wanted to make sure that we were talking from at least a personal perspective of seeing, yes, and not passing judgment on what, what we heard, heard, yes, and, 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 and all that other fact. stuff like that. And I have done, I have listened to some of the uh, uh, interviews with the, with the director, the writer, the, mm-hmm. the, the the editor, the dude that did all the music. I think his name is James, James Sullivan, but he's literally the prince of of movie making. Yeah. You know, because Prince, his first album came out, I think he did all of the instruments. Yeah. So this is what oh. this guy, Jay Sullivan, That's did. Just... He wrote uh, the score. That's uh, Jane Seymour, I think his name C- is. C- Seymour. Seymour. Right, right, yes. right, right, right. 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 J A Y, I think it is. Yeah, J-A-Y. it's a different way because he's British. I think, British, it's, yeah, he's oh, British. He? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrote the score. He did everything. He wrote the um, and he came out. Of, he came out. He came out of the music. He yeah, came he, out of the music world. Yep, yep. And he and he and he's always done films his whole life. But it's crazy because, and 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 we're going to get into this discussion, but the the, I think that the the warning and those people that yell yo blasphemy, 
is because there are some things that make you go. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. You know, like, whoa. And we've had this discussion already. When you're sophisticated enough and you have enough knowledge and you do have some sort of relationship with God, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit is going to prick you and tell you, yo, there's something up about that. Right. But what if you don't know? You know, one of the things I've always noticed is that the only thing worse than being lost is not knowing that you're lost. And if you don't know what you don't know, how do you know what you need to ask so that you know? Well, I would hope no one would go to the book of Clarence looking for answers. But unfortunately, I think the majority of the folks out there are doing it because that's why I think that's why they're targeting who they're targeting. What happened last night? Last night, a quick story. So we're at the movie theater and the young gentleman that was serving us, very fine gentleman, good server, and we're talking, and out of the blue, Brother Holmes says, so are you a believer? He says, what do you mean? So, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Says, no, no, I'm going to be I honest never, with you. Says, I'll be honest. I never heard of him. Hmm. You could have knocked me over with a feather. I grew up Christian. so. Well, we have a generation that's not. Mm-hmm. We, have, you know, we have a generation I, I whose parents are not yeah. churched. Yeah. Or, or even... Or even, even I wouldn't say worse than that, but even more severe than that, there are folks that believe a whole lot of stuff because of what they've maybe experienced, what they've heard or what they're told. That ain't got nothing to do with. Well, we have people in the church that believe certain things that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Bible. But if you don't, once again, if you don't know, you don't know. And we talked about this with with some of the mega churches Mm -hmm. where the pastor falls and the church falls away. But them folks that were coming, they were given deliberately. They they were they were faithful. Mm-hmm. Yes. But if I don't know, how what do you tell? Are you telling me that in 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 the scripture in the Bible where he says, "Depart from me, I never knew you." Jesus, didn't we spend? Didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't we mm-hmm. serve in your name, Jesus? Mm-hmm. Didn't I, didn't I give to the poor? Mm-hmm. Didn't I give my tithes and offering? Didn't I, he says, "Depart from me, I never knew you." Now, if you don't know that, you don't know. So that I think the 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 the, the dilemma I think with this movie, the Book of Clarence, is that's that a, this will be the closest thing and the only thing that a whole Some bunch people of people see. are gonna see. Mm. And that's scary. And it one of the so, and, so let me ask you this: There are other movies that come out that are faith based, such as um, Passion of Christ. Even more so, um, a, a little simpler than that. Um, uh, ben Hur, Ten Commandments. Not biblically based, oh. faith based. Oh, faith based. Faith based. Um, um, there was one with Priscilla Schreier, the war, the war room. You remember the I've war room? I've heard of it, but I haven't yes. seen it. With the praying grandmother. With the praying grandmother, or the praying mother-in-law, mm-hmm. right? Put scriptures up and pray these prayers. Some people would say that was manipulation. So do we have do we do we give pause because it's black people doing it, or do we give pause when it's a white movie and white shows mm-hmm. and white actors? The do we do we qu- do we question it more because we see our community, that. right? The, the director addressed that in one of his interviews, yeah. And I thought he was so on point because I'll tell you when I watched the movie last night, I thought, what a waste of forty five dollars, but. When, because of the, there were so many things that were cliche mm-hmm. that it was driving me. Yeah, it, 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 it was pretty preschoolish in a lot of ways when it comes to the faith. I mean, there were a lot of things that were like, really? Not even the faith, the, 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 the culture. And mm-hmm. listen, like I said, <laughs> I told you earlier, the dichotomy that we saw, every one of these Christian people were black mm-hmm. and the evil Romans were all white. Mm-hmm. What's with that juxtaposition? That's that's not real life. And not every white person is an evil devil. You know what I found interesting? I think that the movie itself was trying very hard to be shocking. And in 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 that attempt, it kind of was not shocking at all. Like there was like I saying with the cliches, you know, certain things about trying to be like, I guess purposely um controversial, but it kinda came off as more so not really mocking the faith or knocking, you know, that belief, but just kind of trying to make it into something that is not. Like, I don't know, it just seemed kind of like trying to use the basis of like biblical, you know, what's in the Bible to to say something, but 
not anything that's really, you know, based on what that's about. Like, it's not really telling you anything about the actual faith. It's just mm-hmm. kind of using it as a springboard for some kind of shocking, like, I you know, that was scandalous. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. But that's what kind of rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> going going back to when you were saying, um, and then jump, I'll jump back to that. Uh, going back to what you were saying in regards to it was black folks and then white people were the... When you think back to you, when I think back to my community, I didn't have any black police officers. Mm. The people who patrol my community did not look like me. This is true. And so in, in mm. that way, it was relevant, but it, it, it stands out because we're watching it. Um, but Romans, Romans were white. <laughs> I mean, it, it just, it was just, it's so, just, it was stark because you it, didn't see any stark. other colors. Yeah, it, was, exactly. it was black and then it was white. Well, there were a couple of white dudes that were slaves and I was like, oh, look at the white dudes and slaves. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. But there were no light skinned brothers, though. I couldn't figure that out. He was the albino. Uh, uh, but, it was but, deeply melanated. Because <laughs> yeah. there were there no light skinned women either. No. You know what I mean? No, Every, exactly. Everybody yeah. was deeply melanated. Yeah. There, so, there was plenty yeah. of like black on black, you know, conflict in the movie as well. It wasn't just people who were white and black fighting, it was people who were black mm, fighting as well. This. Maybe because I, I couldn't pick, figure out this piece of it. What was the purpose or the intent? Of the constant weed smoking, it was legal. I just think it was again it was part very of good the herb. thing to be shocking. Like, oh, we seen a person who was like <laughs> a Christian or whatever, herb. somebody who was a part of the like, like you know, not the person, the main character wasn't at the movie. He wasn't like the he wasn't he didn't had the faith at the you know about the movie. But his friends, who I guess were like you know, sort of I guess faithful or had that faith in Jesus, they were doing that. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a thing of like, oh, Christians or people who were followers of Christ are smoking, and it's like. I don't know. It just felt one of those things again to shock you. And it's like, I mean, but see, but once again, though, that that that's part. I think that's part of the danger of all this, and and I think that's the part that really that really touches my soul. That hurts my soul. Really, is that we don't see the danger in, and even like you said, he addressed the whole issue of, and like you said about seeing people of color in mm-hmm. these positions, mm-hmm. and that's the biggest argument for him is that he wanted to, and like he, you know, this is the same director that did The Harder They Fall, which mm-hmm. was the, the 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 black western, mm-hmm. and so Great his movie. thing is taking stuff that we grew up with, putting us in it because we have not never we've never been there, mm-hmm. you know, traditionally in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and that is true. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. black folks have been exploited. I used to love Bonanza. The only time you saw an Asian dude was he was Hop Singh. You know, it was like, yeah, was very characterized. That was that was that Bonanza reference was very generational. Yeah, yeah. Your side of the table knows. (laughs) (laughs) What is that? What is that? I have never heard of it in my life. What is that? I'm over here like, oh yeah, but what is that? You see how she slipped in the age thing. I'm just shaking my head like, yeah, you're right, but you're a, that. Wow. you poor deprived children. I, I remember <laughs> it was a TV show. I have no idea I who these people are. Anyway, heard it, of that. let me say, you it was, was it was a pro, me. it was a program. <laughs> I may have to go. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. But but the point the point I'm trying to make. Real yeah. relevant. Yeah. 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 Bring it back the to like. The point I'm actual, trying to make back yeah. in the 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Wait, back okay. But the point is, is that the director brings that fact up? Yeah. Is that I wanted to intentionally and. Are people saying that's blasphemous just because there are people of color in positions that we're not used to seeing? Now, I agree with that. I hear that. I love that. I'm in the media business. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. the exploitation. We know everything. We know all the exploitation films. Oh, yeah. You heard of Shaft and, and Superfly? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know their movies. Okay. I know. 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 I a trip, mm-hmm. and we know the things that are happening. We do know this. However, that does not give a license for people then to do some of the stuff that's going on. Because the bottom line is, when you look at this movie in particular, and when they talk about peace God mm-hmm. and the peace God nation, what is it? The nation of Islam, right? No, 5%, it's, it's the five percent nation of Islam. Yeah. This is a real thing. But who said this movie was a Christian movie? And why are we claiming that's, this that's as a Christian well, you know, movie? The clarity needs to be, this is not a Christian movie. The director yeah. himself said out of his own mouth, exactly. this is not a movie about Jesus Christ, and it is not a Christian movie. One thing that I did like what he said in his uh, interview, when he said, you know, all of those that were that are screaming blasphemy, 
I would challenge them with this. Do you know the book of which you speak? Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to explain mm -hmm. that even that one character, Thomas and his brother, mm -hmm. and biblically Thomas is really a, a twin. Mm -hmm. I've read the Bible, I don't know how many times. I didn't know that. So the guy has a very valid point, and I'm not sticking up for him, but he does have a valid point. He said he didn't write this movie for, for Christians. He didn't try to attract Christians. This is this, this, the Christianity aspect of it has is just an aside. Right. And it's so, not the main focus. No, no, no you can't. But but okay. you can say that all you want. But no, the movie. I mean, come on, man. It's like the, the, the movie. The, just because just because it has Jesus in it does not make it a a Christian movie. I agree with that. But then, what is the movie about? It's about the 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 transformation of of him becoming of a believer. Of Clarence. Of him becoming a believer. It, it, that's, it, it how, that's how it culminates says, him becoming a believer. He says well. knowledge <sighs> is better than belief. And knowledge is better than belief is a part of that and whole five And he had an experience Islam. with Jesus that substantiated his knowledge. He said, I know. That, that that's the that, difference. That, that I, it, it does, I don't even know if he became a Christian. We don't know that. All that. we know is they that there was a transformation. And I think that once again, I believe that the 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 danger is is when you don't know, and and for those folks that don't have any type of access to, I think to, this could be a great tool to real information to, to have the conversation to start the conversation about salvation. I think it could be a great tool. I don't think it is all inclusive of your salvation and your self belief. You know what I think also. What you said about those who don't know and all of this, that's a very good point. And here's why. If you talk to a five percenter, mm -hmm. they are very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They speak and they recite the daily mathematics. Absolutely. It's really hardcore, hard-hitting stuff. Absolutely. If you talk to a Jehovah's Witness, these Jehovah's are some Witness. hard Hitting people. They know. You can say what they you know. want about them, mm -hmm. but they know. If you talk to a Muslim, I'm telling you, this Absolutely. guy can give you chapter and verse of the Quran. So how Absolutely. come they don't get the pass not to know what they know? Well, how come as always so my, my, we, my don't know, we don't know? We don't know what we know. To, when you talk to Christians. What hey, do you know? What do you know? That's our problem. That right there is our problem. I think the question is, how do you know? Yeah, well, like what? What, what is it that makes you? believe that like in, even for Clarence like the way he came to his belief is how he came to it and people don't always come to that belief in the same way people find different ways to come to that salvation and come to believe that but the question is how because now there's no is there one way to figure it out or does anybody have a different way to come into that belief like how do you know every other faith studies yes. we don't we, we don't, don't study we, we don't even push study no we, listen we push we attendance to, exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> for two hours on Sunday yeah and that's it yeah. And that's where our problem is, I yeah. think. If we can get more believers to actually take an active part in the belief structure, to have some skin in the game, to put some time into it. Listen, I didn't get to calculus too by by skipping trigonometry. Come on. Well, that, but that, that, that goes back to the premise of what Christianity is all about anyway, is that it's about a relationship with God. And mm -hmm. the only way you build that relationship is through spending time, is through learning, through asking questions, through getting deeper and deeper and deeper and not just taking that surface level stuff mm -hmm. and running with that. But most of people do that because that's the most convenient thing. That's the easiest thing. That's the, least, that's the path of least resistance. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that sounds good. He it's said it ain't energy. my fault. He says, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be healthy. I ain't never going to be sick. I'm good with that. Then we can't be mad when someone makes a movie that challenges that. I, I sometimes that's think actually our, a good point. our belief structure is, sad to say, too, is a little too liberal. Mm. If you look at other belief structures, for example, the same 5% or FOI, the Fruits of Islam, they were required to dress appropriately at all times when they before they stepped out of their house. Muslims, they must bathe for seven times a day or whatever. There's, there's always structure involved. What do we say in the church? Come as you are. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. I got you. And, and the, the uh, prosperity uh, theology, not only come as you are, pray to me and I'll give you all the money you want. Oh, no, mm. give me a bigger tide. Give me a bigger, bigger, bigger tide and you're going to get that new escalator. Yeah. Mm. 
See, that's just so Where's different. my Escalade? <laughs> right. <laughs> You're tired enough yet. I'm tired enough yet. <laughs> but these are the things that we got to really wonder about. So, yes, you know, I agree with everything that's said here about the, 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 the possibility of impact with this movie, the Clowns. But after listening, because I tell you, you, you notice I'm speaking different now than I was this morning when we were talking. Yeah. That's because I watched his uh, both of his um yeah, I watched the interviews with him, yeah. 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 And so I got to say, even though I thought the movie, one uh, Charlemagne the God said that, what's the, the dude's name, Keith? The, 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 Keith. The, Keith Stanfield. Mm-hmm. Keith Stanfield. He said, oh, he should be put up for an Oscar. Uh, I didn't I wouldn't see say all that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see Oscar performance in this at all. I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the fact remains that what the, what the director said was that this is a movie, just like you said, where I'm trying to take us to a different space, put us where we have never been before. And I was like, that's reasonable. You know, you don't... We haven't seen a movie like that. We yeah. haven't seen a movie in biblical times with... Melanated people, mm-hmm. deeply no. melanated people, no, where they weren't ambiguous and they could have been Spanish or or something else. And I love the one reference he made of um, Ben. Was it Ben Hur? With Yul Brenner as as the Pharaoh, mm-hmm. he says, I, "I just can't imagine nobody looking like Ben, like Yul Brenner being a Pharaoh. Not really coming from there." And he's right. You know, we, the we, the Bible is full of people of color. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. How, how? But well, once again, I, I mean, I agree with all that, and 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 I think it's uh, Theo even talked about the fact that you know when they when they went over to Europe and and they did the tour over in Israel and stuff, and the, and the images that they saw over there were black, yeah. were black, absolutely. black disciples, black, and it was like, what? Black Are Madonna. you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the movie even references that with the with, with we ain't gonna do a spoiler for you, but the movie references that, and yeah, this is all true. All of it's true. However, we're still we're still in, I think, a danger zone when we give something a pass just because we ain't seen it before. Because just like you said, Jehovah Witnesses are they could tell you more about your belief than you can. Yes. That don't how, mean that's how right. How are they getting a pass? I don't I don't I don't think we're giving them a pass. I, I was going to ask him. Well, no, I mean, because, because I think everybody says, oh, come on, you can't call it blasphemy just because. No, you call it blasphemy because what you're trying to say is, is that, well, one, one of the things in particular, and one of the brothers talked about this, was even the way they depicted things in it. When they depicted the disciples in this book, the book of Clarence, the disciples were these highfalutin guys he didn't, he that didn't say nobody highfalutin. touch. He, he said. But they walked through and like he said, he look at them. Don't nobody mess with them. Oh, they this. They all that. They all powerful. So you they think there was stuff. no mystique about the apostles? No, they, they came. They were very, no, they were no. fishermen, but they were walking with Jesus. You think they, there was they, no mystique they, about they them? They were walking with Jesus, people... but they were also being uh, uh, persecuted everywhere they went to. Wait, so with, so with your point, though, about... And it was almost like not, it was an not, elitist kind of attitude. Not at, not at attitude. that time, after Jesus was killed, they were being persecuted. But, but it, was like in a, it, was, it was like a different, uh, a completely different uh, image of that what... That we have been taught. Yeah, that they, they, they would have been taught. Oh, it, 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 but who taught, who taught oh, us that? Oh, oh. okay. Well, who taught us what? Who taught, who, who, who taught you that, that disciples were... Meek and mild as they walk. Oh, I know. I, no, I never believe that because I knew that there, there's a fisherman. So I'm sure yeah, that they, okay. I'm sure they had some choice words and everything else. So I'm right, sure. I think, that, I think where he's going, and I'm not trying to speak up for you or explain your words, but when he says give him a pass, when you have places like Focus on the Family and um, you know, Tim oh, they say, oh, who's great? You know, only the black these people. people. But but again, <laughs> wow. I don't trust these people anyway. They're white. Are these the same else. people who watch Tyler Perry and watch Medea, yeah. Jack up? Scripture? Oh yeah! Mm. Oh yeah! Uh, okay. Yeah. And so, so, oh yeah! So yes. their movie, but it, but their, their but movie even, critique but even, but, even, but even going there, that's the same. The, the same people, people that give Tyler passes all the time. Exactly, and the same thing. Tyler Perry's doing sermons. He's doing church services. He's doing yeah. everything else. But he's saying his and, movies are Christian. But, exactly. This man is the, saying this, it's not. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's my point. Why do they get? A, why do they get a pass? That's the whole point I'm trying to make. Is we but seem to say that oh, it's great because he's, he's a black man. It's, it's not a pass. What it is that we are trying to uh, grab onto this movie and claim it to be a Christian movie. And it's not. And, it's not. and I think that's where the mistake uh, is. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, if we clarify, this is not a Christian movie. 
we are the ones who 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 label mm-hmm, it as mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. Christians are the one, and oh, it's black. It, it's, it's not because not, it's not a Christian movie. And I don't know if it's all Christians when, that's, that's doing it. Like I said, right. it's, it's, it's those big name white evangelical groups who are saying that this is some kind of, according to one of the, 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 the quotes that uh, I think it was Tim LaHaye or one of them who said, oh, this is a new spin that will give us a new op- uh, open mindedness about the Bible. And I get Dude, them. They for the Bible. I get that they want to be politically correct, mm. right? Well, they they want to embrace or whatever. But I don't even know if they've seen it. <laughs> this is true. You, you know, know right. I think that if we stop claiming people, movies, books as Christian, that will take away this disappointment <laughs> when people fail, when people well, fall. It's a disappointment. <laughs> it'll take away that that notion that. Um, we are above certain things. So you call it a faith-based movie, but not a Christian movie. I don't call it that. I call it entertainment. Uh, well, oh. I don't. I don't even. I don't even call it faith-based because I don't know the faith enough to say that it's faith-based. Mm. I don't know what faith it is ascribing to. It was just a movie. I, I can go with that. Can I find theological themes in it? Absolutely. You, yeah. I can find theological themes in cartoons, but I don't I don't say it's a Christian movie. I wouldn't recommend it as a Christian movie. Um, there are the some key. other movies I think are phenomenal that can challenge our faith um, and make us think outside the box, but I don't think that this is one of those books, one of those movies. But I think, but I think that's crucial what you just said, though. Mm-hmm. But because that's not being said, I haven't heard anybody no. come out and say that's that. That's the problem. I haven't heard anybody come out and say that. Well, then we need to market this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, but because he, he yeah, said it official. last night after he got out of the movie, he said exactly that. This could be dangerous. And, and <laughs> last night I was in full agreement with you. <laughs> and then I heard the the, um, the, the the director was talking. I'm like, well, you know. The danger is in how we perceive and adapt this to this movie. That's where, and that's not yes. his fault. And I agree with that. Yeah. And yeah, that's not his fault. It, it, it yes. is no. what we see and what we internalize. So y'all don't y'all don't believe that there's no intentional. Uh, oh no! Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't think there's no intentional. Uh, 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 the guys are five percent. Yeah, I mean, so, so, so that's what I'm talking about. So, 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 so there's definitely an, ag- an, an agenda. Me. Let yes. me put it that way. Yes, there is an agenda. Yes, and that's that's the thing about it is that but he there, hide that. there is an agenda. They don't come out and say that. Yes, he does. Did you watch the uh, what you call the interview? He ain't never say, "Yo, I'm with the five percent nation no. of Islam, and this is what in we the, believe." In, in the interview, and the he book explains. of Clarence is based on Clarence, the who started the five yes. percent nation of Islam. When, and I don't I, even know enough about nation of Islam, so I'm not even going to speak on that because when, I'm how not how did you it? It? about the, the name of the, the movie. From the interview, that's where he uh, said that the book, the name of the movie is after named after Clarence. I forgot his last name. Who started yeah, the, 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 the but I'm not speaking on that because I don't know enough about it, and I'm not disparaging anything because once again, yeah. God is able to straighten anybody out. But what I am saying though is that the danger is is why that is that you dangerous? Don't know. Because that might be somebody else's faith path. Just because it's not Christianity does not make it dangerous. Well, let me just put it this way, and and I don't we don't need to go there because I I don't have enough theological training for it, but I do know one thing is true. Every religion in the world could be wrong, but every religion in the world can't be right. So the bottom line is, is that there is an absolute truth somewhere. Now, and there's and, some and, there's some and, absolute and, truths that run through all religions. And so, and, and, and uh, what does uh, the, the author, the, the director say in, in his interview? Y'all gotta watch this interview. In the interview, the guy says, listen, every one of us has a form of disbelief. <laughs> I don't care who you are, because if, if you, you're you Christian, can't have faith without disbelief, all, everybody else is wrong. If you're Muslim, everybody else is wrong. And in order for you to believe that everybody else is wrong, means that you disbelieve what they believe. So, the whole thing premise here is again, what is it? Is they say train up a child in the way you would have them go. Mm-hmm. Where we're failing is in our training up, not by watching this movie. I don't know. I can't honestly say, like I said last night, I can't honestly say that this movie is an intentional detriment to the Christian faith. Right. I, I, I can't. Right. I don't think it is either. 
Right. Because, again, just like that young man didn't know Christ last night, and we told him to watch our podcast, and do, he's he's open. He's looking for knowledge. He's, he's looking for something. It's our job to go with the Great Commission, go forward and spread the good news. If a Muslim guy catches that same young mm-hmm, fellow mm-hmm. and teaches him about Allah, then he'll go with Allah. It always amazes me that everybody that goes to jail, everybody that goes to jail, finds somebody in there. Either they find Allah, they find Jesus, they find Muhammad, they find... They all, why is that? Because now you're, you're, you're told to sit still and listen. Mm-hmm. And it depends on who they listen to. That's, that's how they get, you know, some of the strongest Muslims are the guys who come out of jail. Some of the strongest Christians I know mm-hmm. are the guys who come out of jail. Because they, they actually sat down and read and they learned. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's this, this world that we live in today, the society, this, this whole social media nonsense, that I think is the biggest detriment. Mm-hmm. Because that a lot true. of people are getting their religion from TikTok. That's mm-hmm. true. You know, and, 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 and look at us. We're getting ready to, 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 to dive right into it. First of all, this podcast, this is because we know we need to show that indeed the, the relevancy of it. Some people are going to watch this and they're going to say, hey, you know what? I don't need to watch the movie of Clarence because look at it. They all said it's a waste of time. <laughs> or they're going to say, well, I got to go watch this movie of Clarence. But, but the, the hopes, my hope, dream, and aspiration for the human race is that we will be more discerning, be more inquisitive because we should never let anything deter us or to, sway, to us. sway us from our belief structure if indeed it's a true belief structure. Christian, Christian belief, it happens to be my belief structure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, so I taught it to my kids. My kids hopefully will teach it to their kids and on and on. That's not to say anything is wrong with any of the others, and, yeah. And Hinduism. Uh, uh, just, that's just my thoughts. I, I, I just stepped down off my soapbox now. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It, it's it's the path that I've chosen. Doesn't mean that someone else's path that's different is wrong. It's just not right for me. Yeah. So I guess outside of the message of the movie, what other thoughts do we have about the movie as a whole? Like how it was made... You know, the because we're, we're all creators. So what do we have? To I enjoy the music. The... I think it went excellent with um, everything that was going on in the movie. Um, I laughed, chuckled a little bit when I saw them smoking weed. It I was said, very... how interesting is that? Now, you don't think about people smoking weed in <laughs> biblical times. Um, and they probably, probably, and they probably smoked have. more. Yeah. yeah, they probably did. <laughs> I could definitely believe it. Now. Um, <laughs> it was very, I thought it was very funny. Um, mm-hmm. it, I don't know if it was a comedy it was probably leaning towards that in some ways, no. you know, no, no, no. but it was very funny. Um, I guess they, I feel like they made light of a, like a lot of darker, you know, themes and try, try, try to, just, I guess, like make it more palatable as in terms of like, of like the messages they were trying to send. But yeah, I thought it was very funny. Like her, I like the uh, soundtrack a lot. Um, good acting. I thought, thought the directing was really great. both mentioned the soundtrack. So mm-hmm. he, he does reference that. He says that the, the, the director said what he does since he wrote all the, the scores. He says, "I want you guys to understand. I see music and I hear film." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So he was able to blend the two together in a manner which both of you picked up on it. Yeah. The thing I liked about the movie more than anything else, though. What's the scenery? Oh my mm, gosh! Yes, mm, beautiful. Man, yes, I love that place. Mm, yeah, it's, supposedly it's the fourth oldest city inhabited, inhabited city on the planet. Mm. It's the same place that they filmed Passion of Christ. Mm-hmm. But that, oh my gosh, <laughs> the, 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 the scenes in the alley, like the way the racing and stuff was going on. Yeah. I hope I'm not spoiling it for anybody. If I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't so, think you are. <laughs> okay. Hopefully y'all seen this already. Right. But yeah, that that to me was very, very unique. I mean, it was I like yeah, it was. he says, you know, when we went there to drop all these black people in this city, <laughs> I'm sure it was quite a shock to him. I said, Yeah, it probably was. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I mean, I, uh, once again, I, I think it's a, uh, it, it's a good thing to have it done and to have somebody put put a black face on some of this stuff that you haven't seen in the past. Uh, but I, I really do believe that we do have to be uh, uh, diligent mm -hmm. to not just take things at face value. Mm -hmm. Is that there, there is, there are agendas, there are things, and this whole, you know, like the scripture says, Satan is a light, he comes as a light, and he sounds good. And he even references it, the director references the scripture mm -hmm. that says, you know, many mm -hmm. will come in my name, yep. you know, to yep. deceive and all of that. Yep. Um, but it, it is up to the conversations about this isn't a Christian movie. But because there's a whole lot of people that will take this as a yes, mm -hmm. that's true. As, as a Christian movie, or at least they gonna go with that but that's that where, thought. That's where our job comes in. And walk away. There was a movie that came out uh, with Sterling, um, Sterling, Sterling K. K. Brown, Johnson. Sterling K. Brown, a couple of weeks, a couple of years ago, and people ran to it and thought that it was a Christian movie, and set up in a theater. <laughs> what movie was it? Do you remember what I'm talking about? I know you know. Um, hold on. Can we pause so I can find the movie? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take your time. Um, Take your time. Well, yeah, in the meantime. <laughs> hey, do y'all remember? They won't remember this. Oh, my gosh. It's so long. But do you remember back in the day when you were watching TV? Back in the day. And they would say, and now we'll pause for station identification. Station identification. Right. <laughs> we need a commercial. Uh, I remember yeah. when the TV used to go off at 2 o'clock. Yeah. That ends the broadcasting day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. It's, <laughs> that's, that's done. We're going okay. oh, to the today. We'll program. Just move on. So there was a movie with Sterling K. Brown. It was called Honk for Jesus. Oh, I, yeah, that's I saw familiar. that. Uh -huh. I didn't see it. But and that people was ran the to that worst. movie. Yeah. And was set up in there was shocked, uh, upset, okay. and confused yeah. about what am I watching? Just by way of total transparency, because <laughs> they may be watching. So the girl who wrote that is a friend of mine's daughter. Okay. It's a young lady. And she I was really impressed that she got the accolades that she did. But then I saw the movie, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry if you're watching this. But uh, oh God. you already said oh, it. God, yeah, <laughs> that's it, it. Was a shock, and, it but but Christians really ran to it because they thought it was a Christian. Yeah, we need again. to stop being so grabalicious. <laughs> so grabalicious. We need to stop <laughs> grabbing at anything. But that, anything. I mean, but that, but that isn't that how it always works, though. I mean, because it because you, if, Hollywood tells us there's something. Well, is no, Christian. not because of Hollywood. No, I'm talking about because well, the enemy knows that people. They're, they need something. I don't think whoever I don't I don't think your friend's daughter was the enemy when she wrote this no, movie. No, no, see, the, I, yeah, I no, like no. But 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 we deal not with flesh and blood. That's what we're talking about here. We're not talking about this person or that person. But you're the, saying the enemy. The enemy is the person that wants to the take enemy folks didn't put, off of didn't course. Put this, didn't put honk for Jesus out. That's not the, that's not an agenda from the enemy. That is that is an account of something that we all know. It was just a some viewpoint. some history of it was, it was literally a viewpoint. It was, what it was, it was, and it was, came from all of those falls and those things that have happened. Mm -hmm. That's straight from the pit of hell. That I ain't saying that the person that wrote the movie is that. I mean, but 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 sin is a, all the evil in the world and everything else is because of sin. That's what it is. I, all I, comes I, back I, I hear to what you're saying. And I understand that in regards to sin. I'm talking about the movie. And the the movie and the and the, what's depicted but in the movie. But my thing is this, though: if you name a, if you name a, a movie "Honk for Jesus," what do you think people are going to think about? It's about it's called "Honk for, for, for Jesus." This is called a book for Clarence. You can't. But put it's a movie not a like Christian. That. It's not. It's not a Christian movie just because it said but it's "Honk being, for Jesus." But it's being marketed as such with it that wasn't. title. No, that it was title makes it seem like it is about it, Jesus because no, you're putting it no. in the title. Why, Which is so funny because if you watch the movie. Think? It's sad. It was. You can tell that the intent never was. And when you watch it, sure you do get that. But the actual title, when you first see that title on a, in a trailer or, even like when on you see Google, when you see the you publicity picture and they're that. sitting down at the, the, the last supper, it's, you'll it's see like, it and be on. like, okay, it's not. I mean, and, and you can definitely say that through all of the, the facts and the things about it. It's not a Christian movie. It's not all that. But we know, what, what the the results are. 
Yeah, and we know the fact that the majority of the people are not sophisticated enough or even know enough I, I, or I, want I, to know I, I enough. You know what I, I think this movie will actually be utilized for more, just like Hung for Jesus. So if I were an empty vessel and mm. I'm just looking for something, but I really don't want Christianity because it's... I'm going to latch on to anything that sounds no, good. No, but see, the things that I've seen in both of these movies... The points that like you said, the, to use your words, the agenda, if you will, is more so to disparage Christianity. Because mm -hmm. in in the movie last night, one of the things that I noticed was that they, they kind of diminished the average Christian into a, a, basically a, a, a lemming who follows anybody yeah. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They, they made fun of the, the, the ministers who were willing to... Um, the right. ministers who were looking for just making money. And that's not what all ministers aren't like that. They made fun of the church itself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just like there was definitely some mocking going on. What, in that what, movie. Do we, what do we see in Hunt for Jesus? That minister yeah. was this big, flashy, fa fancy guy. With, he, he thought more of his clothes than he mm -hmm. thought of his wife. Mm. And, you know, once he, once he fell, then he realized, oh, I got to do something better than this. Right. But th th that was disparaging the church itself. See, to, to, to that point, I think that there is a bit of a, pro a problem with the way people do portray Christians in in media. Like I've seen shows that have portrayed, you know, people who are characters in the show who are Christians. And they're like these really like, uh, well, they're, well, they're white usually. They're white, like really prissy, like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. They're very like preachy and very like judgmental. It's just the way that we, we get portrayed in media in, in general is just not that great like from back then even to now even with this movie that we're talking about there were some iffy portrayals of christians in it so i feel like the, if you're gonna talk about well they weren't christians yet because jesus hadn't died so they were followers they were followers mm -hmm. well See, but you getting technical. Though. Yeah. <laughs> we, but, we, but we have, we have to be technical. But we have to be technical. You're an elder of the AME <laughs> church, and point, you though, know this. That we have to be portrayed. technical, though. Right. I mean, but you know this. But that's what I'm saying, that the average person ain't going to know that. Yes, yeah, I that's disagree. The, the, av person the average that, person is more educated than our grandparents were. The average person this is may more be true, educated but once than again, our grandparents. Is what are they were. educated with? They educated with stuff like the Book of Clarence. With critical reasoning, the thinking skills. They're more educated. I I think you're so not we, giving enough credit to the average person and their would thinking you, ability. Would you like, so mm. with your thought pattern, you'd like to see the things like the Book of Clarence done away with. Oh no, absolutely not. I wanted to see the movie, and I'm glad I did see the movie. But but once again. The whole point I'm trying to make, I ain't trying to say it's a horrible movie and it should be banned yeah. from the show. No, of course no, not. I'm, I'm talking about the premise. And 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 for a movie, okay, it's good. Okay, mm -hmm. I saw it. Okay, I get it. Yeah. And and then listening to his interview, okay, I see what he's doing. I understand. That's cool. And even the five percent stuff, all the all the self understanding who you are, your power, your yeah, your yeah, your yeah, your, yeah. your black identity, all that is great. I ain't got no problem with none of that. I agree with that hundred percent. And especially when you talk about what. What's happening in, in in society? What's what's the history? How black people, how Christians have been portrayed? All of that is one hundred percent true. But at the same time, the question still comes down to where is where are you? What are you being taught and what are you being told? And if you don't know, you don't know. See, that's and so that mean. conversation of this isn't a Christian movie. That ain't the that average conversation. But that's the one that's the, that we should be. If that's what it should be. Yeah, yeah but, I say that. That's why we're but, doing this. Right, right, right. That, that's exactly what this is about. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and as absolutely. Christians, we have to acknowledge that it's part of our job. To yeah. make sure that Absolutely. this information, misinformation does not get out. That's the key. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I'm i kind of, I'm between you guys both in terms of your, I guess, your thoughts. Because I feel like on one end, yes, there is, you know. But you are in between. <laughs> well, yeah, literally and figuratively, yes. But I do feel like, you know, yeah, it's, it's important for us as people to do our own work to, to know what is important to know. And people are capable of that. They can do that more than I think we're giving them credit for. But also... Those who do already know have a a job to tell us the right information. If they don't tell us the right information, then things are going to get confused. People who are trying to figure it out may get kind of caught between, oh, this is saying one thing, but this is saying you know something else differently. So you got to have like the right aligned like you know, I guess information to know what there is to know and what's right 
or else, you know, I think it's, it, it's on us and it's on the people who we're telling to receive And I think it starts it. with seeing the movie. It was a lot of people giving opinions that never even saw, yeah, the movie saw wasn't the movie. even out. Yeah, they you, never saw the movie. <laughs> Do you guys remember the, 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 the anyway, I'm a reader, the, 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 the book The Exorcist? What? The movie. The movie. Yeah, <laughs> the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a book. I didn't even know there was a book. That was way back in the 1900s. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll forget. I'll forget. For, for, forgive her, for she knows not what I she know did. not. I know not the book. <laughs> anyway, when the book came out, I remember, oh, that, even before that one, there was another book before that called Rosemary's Baby. Mm-hmm. There was a, there was a movie. Heard of it. And they said, and was, this was in the 70s. When Rosemary's Baby came out, they said, do not go and see this movie because it will let the devil into your house. Who was saying all of this? Everybody had never saw the movie because as soon as they said it to me, I would say, well, how do you know how bad it is if you didn't see the movie? Right. Because if you did see the movie, that means the devil's in your house. See, you see that circular nonsense? We got to be careful of that. Everybody that was screaming blasphemy in this, um, for, for the Clarence movie, 90% of them didn't watch the movie. How do you make that claim? People said that the credit, store, the credit score was demonic when it first came out because we have, we have to stop saying things that we don't understand it's are demonic. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get some understanding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you can say what's demonic because once you've seen demons and demonic activity, you can know that's not demonic. Well, my yeah. old credit score was, was demonic. demonic. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't just label everything that we don't understand. I think part of this goes back to how we view ourselves. Do we see God in ourselves? Now, do we see God? Do we see God in ourselves? And that, for so that was a, long. That was a theme of the movie. For so long, we've mm-hmm. been taught that God doesn't look like us. God looks like the slave that was cleaned up in the movie. But when we start seeing ourselves and seeing God in us, we treat each other differently because I see God in you. I see God in you. I see God in my Jewish brothers. I see God in my Muslim brothers and sisters. When we start treating people differently, things will change. But as long as we see God as other We'll never be. Able to yeah, and, and 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 that's and that's part of what he talks about, and that's that's some of the good stuff about even some of the uh, 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 the self the self the self empowerment stuff is is that self identity because the bottom line is is a lot of the stuff that you're talking about that's religion that's man made that ain't got nothing to do Absolutely. with God that ain't got nothing to do with what God says so what God says and so when people talk about well Christianity is white man's religion I'm like they ain't my religion right you know so so I no I ain't buying that I ain't buying and it's even like what they talked about with with Donald Trump and the whole thing when they say and I saw an interview and the guy said well why is it he was talking to a preacher and there's a white interviewer and he said why why is it that uh, 80% of evangelicals, <laughs> why is it that 80% of evangelicals support Donald Trump? And the, and, and, and the pastor said, no, let's get it right. 80% are white evangelicals. Black folks are conservative. Black folks are evangelical. Black folks and, are Christian. Mm-hmm. Black folks are not drinking that Kool-Aid. So you so can't just the assume. Right? Yeah. And that's what we're saying. When you right. have these things like, like, that the, the book of Clarence, there has to be a corollary conversation. There has, to be. there has to be. Yes. And so there I agree with you totally. And I think that because of m- movies like this, and that's what, what their purpose is for, is to generate that, that, that conversation. Mm-hmm. We need to be able to, first of all, not be afraid of it. I like what you said before about the, um, the misinformation or disinformation that is possible. Come that's the world we live in today. Mm-hmm. You know, when we look at, I'm a political junkie. When we look at what's going on in the politics of this nation, you said it best. You said, as long as you can see God in your Christian brother and your Muslim brother and uh, sister, what the politics of this nation through disinformation is, they're making everybody else the other. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's yeah. where we're falling apart. Yeah. We do not respect each other nope. for the people that we are. And that's straight from the pit of hell. That's the enemy trying to divide and conquer, trying to to make each other hate each other. And all I and all I got to say, even when it comes to the different the different religions and everything else like that, because I've got plenty of 
coworkers and friends and people that I know of all different religions and faiths and beliefs. And I, I, and all I can say is this, is I know that the scripture that in, in, in Jesus said himself, there are still others that aren't amongst our tribe that I still have to gather. And just like Jesus touched me and opened my eyes when I was 40, as I told y'all before, <laughs> he can do that with anybody. So, and, and it ain't a matter of, well, you're lost and you're this and you'll never be it. No, that, I ain't got nothing to do with that. And, and like you said, our job is to love and to see God in everybody because everybody is God's child. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I agree with that 100%. And all I, I guess all I want to say with this, with this whole book is that, or this whole movie, the book of Clarence, is that, you know, we have to be able to discern and look at it for what it is mm -hmm. and don't give it something else that ain't necessarily so. So basically what she said. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. What she said. She she said, pretty much. This book is, this movie is not a Christian movie. <laughs> look at it, but recognize that it's not a Christian movie. Well, I guess we all are in agreement. And we don't need yeah. to be offended. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we don't. Because it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was great. Yeah, y'all, y'all heard we that, should, right? We should do more um, movie reviews. <laughs> that was good, yes. <laughs> who, who was that? Oh, y'all would never remember these names. Why am I even bringing that? Are up? you talking about Ebert? Oh, you, oh my God, gonna Ebert! Oh, who do you remember this? I'm a movie junkie. Okay, who? They used to do. They used to do movie reviews. He used to do. Who? Tina used to do movie reviews and. Man, they, it was like Sunday nights or something like yeah, that. It was, yeah, yeah. Before the, to, right after the movie first come out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You're talking about Siskel and Eve. You, see, you, and you Eve. gotta open up some. There's so much life that you have not experienced. Man. I know. That's when it was. That was good stuff. <laughs> yeah. was well, good you know stuff. what? I, I'll tell you what. I, I mean, I, I, I do, I do agree. You may not want to go to the theater and spend forty five dollars to no. see it. It's not worth it. Don't even do it. You, you, you might want to wait till it comes out on cable. But no, we recommend that you do see it because, oh, and, and, and for the simple reason, if nothing else, because there there will be conversations like this. to be able yes. to and there, and there will be intelligently engage in the conversation. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. And there will be people that will have questions. Yes. I mean, yes. and and it will bring some people to the table that yep. wouldn't have come before. Absolutely. And when they get there, what you be gonna give? Be prepared. Serve them. Yep, yep. Serve them exactly. What you gonna give them? So you know, so so in, in that sense, I mean, I, I I do agree with that. What's your health moment for this? Hey, so that's a segue. Hey. <laughs> that's what I want to hear. What's your health moment for this, brother? Okay, so talk that, about that medical marijuana. No, no. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Well, yes. No, well, don't, do, yes. don't do that. Don't do that. No, do that. Hey, do trust that. me, I won't do the whole bowel movement thing again. Oh, oh God. God. That was just not well received. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Claire. Was, said, medical marijuana. <laughs> no. The, the, the thing for um, the, our health moment, once again, people, let's be honest. We, we got to be really, really cognizant of mental health mm -hmm. and yes. the, the impact that it has. So if we look around us today, well, not even today, but even in this, in this movie, The Book of Clarence, you saw in some of the scenes where the women were pretty much debasing themselves in, at, 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 that, at that club, in the nightclub scene. Mm -hmm. And we see that kind of stuff even today. But that's, that's all about because of poor self-esteem, poor um, self-worth. And along with that comes Indeed mental with that. debilitation. And so when you see people, when we see our friends out there and we have a feeling that they're not quite right, I'm not saying that you can fix them, but definitely suggest to them to go and see a therapist, to uh, talk to a minister, or if they're, if they're willing to talk to you, be truly be ready to listen. That is so important. A lot of times when it comes to mental health, you'll be surprised the cathartic nature of just speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that does a lot. Except you can't talk to yourself. You can't talk to a wall. You have to talk to somebody that's receptive in the speech. If they think that you're important enough in their life to share their troubles with you, be, be that friend to at least listen and listen with both ears. That's my health moment. Now, Brother Roy, I have two things on that real quick. Yes, I can't talk to myself. You know, 
actually, <laughs> I talk to myself, but see, I'm a very intelligent person. It's, so when, when I speak to when myself, I, talk, I get intelligent responses. Yes, it's like so a you know, committee meeting on. going on. Yes. <laughs> Could I ask just a quick then, question? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> So when you 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 mentioned there was um some debasement going on in the movie of, of the women in the movie, that's uh, my number two. Can I get a example of that real quick? Just a quick example, real quick of the of the of the debasement <laughs> that you speak of. Because <laughs> that's a whole other podcast. Yeah, that, that, yeah is, that, but th- that's that part two. Of this. Help us, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, the men and the women were dancing together. Yes, yeah, was that was that what you were referring to? No, I thought there was a <laughs> lot of this business trying to be. To put out open sexuality, this, this, this openness of the the, the 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 sexual gyrations and stuff. I'm like, did okay. we need this in here? I mean, what was it supposed to be? What was it? I mean, certainly I, I, wasn't they a were, Christian I, movie. They were dancing. <laughs> I saw a similar routine on Bridgerton. So, um, uh, well, they break, oh, they break they break out dancing. Bridgerton. They, <laughs> Which is also not a Christian and the file thing. Right. And the file. Um, but anyway, <laughs> one thing I did like about that though, that scene, was the song behind it. That old school, um, like almost disco. Type. That song was amazing. Yeah, that, that was, uh, <laughs> the was, nights over. Here. I was trying to, I was trying to like yeah. just end it, but I couldn't even get through that. <laughs> when that came on, I was like, you know what disco oh, is? Like music, huh? Oh yes. Do you know? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what disco is? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to just like. But no, 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 but you, I'm, I'm joking with you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, you know, I couldn't let it slide. No, 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 I see. <laughs> yeah, we both kind of like, uh, like, what? do you want it or should I? <laughs> but now, what are your closing thoughts? I mean, when we talk about this, this, I, uh, I think I love the word grabalicious. I think if we can stop again. being so grabalicious, trying to hold on and claim things that are not ours. I think oftentimes we are mocked in social media. We're mocked on TV shows because we give them things to mock. Other religions are not made fun of like the Christian faith has been made fun of. 100%. And I think it's because we give them the examples to make fun of us. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's a lack of discipline, lack of training, lack of studying. Um, Book of Clarence, I found it to be entertaining. I enjoyed seeing people who looked like me set in that time. Uh, because we did exist. And uh, it's something I would de- definitely recommend once it came out on streaming. Um, it wasn't life changing no. for me, uh, but I found it to be deeply entertaining. Not even the theater. But uh, just to let you know, Grabalicious, we might get a whole new following behind that. I'm saying Grabalicious. It's, it's, a, it's a Jamaican term. Okay. <laughs> it's a, that's a pretty debasing term. That's what that is. No. This word is just getting thrown around. Now you know, try to use, big words. Right? use big words. You got to watch him. I'm just trying to be venerable. You know you what I'm saying? You did a step at that one word. Now that word, the base, is just getting thrown around now, like <laughs> tossed up in the air and caught. Just, stuck <laughs> just running around. Yeah. Stuff. Just venerable. Allow it. Yeah. Close it down. I pretty much echo it with um, Phyllis. I think it was a very um, entertaining movie. It was great, great music, great directing, great acting. Um, not life changing, like you said. Um, I, I definitely walked away with some different thoughts on it than I had coming into this um, this talk. So I'm definitely, I guess I've had you know some mind change about it. But uh, yeah, I thought it was um, good, and I think that there's a lot to take from it as far as you know what we should and should not put in these kinds of movies going further in the future, and you know what I guess what challenges us to you know have those more difficult talks about what it is to be a Christian and what it means to follow Christ and that kind of stuff. So I, yeah, that's pretty much what I think about it. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, well, my, my closing thought is simple, you know, is that it is your responsibility to understand mm-hmm. and, and, and to, to question those things that you're, that you're looking at mm-hmm. and do not just take it on face, um, face value yeah. And to to research and to understand what it is that you're that you're watching and to know that there are hidden agendas between a whole lot of things. And it's your responsibility. Nobody can tell you. And just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's so. Mm -hmm. And so we have a responsibility. And just like you said, who said it's a Christian movie? Well, there's people that are saying that, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is. And so it's on you and also to know what it is you're talking about. So I've done research and I've looked at some of them. I've educated myself some more on some of these other things that they, that they touched on. And I think that's going to help me in the long run. So I just pray that everybody does that also. Yeah. Well, 
Mine's very simple. One of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is discernment. And so we should always pray and ask for that spirit of discernment. Because you're right. There's a whole lot of stuff out there. There's a whole lot of stuff out there. And if we're not careful, we'll, we'll fall prey to just about anything. And so we got to be, be mindful of what, where we go, who we speak to, and what is said to us. Mm -hmm. so, awesome. um, the movie? Oh, so so. <laughs> I, I tell you the honest truth. The best part of the movie was that little uh, popcorn, whatever that thing was, expensive. <laughs> that $30, but, but, $30 popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know what? And, 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 and I guess that's it. Right now, you know what? I feel a dance coming on, just like in that scene in the movie. Y'all ready? I'm the guy that's a dance. <laughs> I mean, I'll just, yeah, sure. I don't, I don't want to gyrate. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Don't, 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 yeah. Don't, 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 don't be dancing up in there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all, we're so glad that y'all joined us for the TY, the Fame TVM podcast. We gotta see y'all the next time another movie like this. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. 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 Yeah.